Welcome students. This is a small tutorial on how to solve momentum problems. So how to solve momentum conservation equation. Law of conservation for isolated system is defined as initial momentum is equal to final momentum. So P1 plus P2 is the initial momentum. PF1 plus PF2 are the final momentum. So both initial and final momentum remains constant or equal in law of conservation of energy. For by isolated system we mean the net external force on the system should be zero. Second point. First read the problem and understand the quantity is given. We have to find out what is given and what is not given and we have to draw a clear picture of the system. Choose a suitable system where law of causal motion of momentum can be applied. There may be like several parts in the system, so we need to find a suitable system where we can apply law of conservation of momentum. For law of conservation of momentum, we have to see the net external force on the system. It can be only applied if net external force system is zero. It can be for certain time duration also. Importance should be given to this step. Choose a suitable coordinate system and write down the momentum equation x, y, z axis. We need to add all objects in the system in the momentum equation and find the unknown. In case of collisions, if the collisions are elastic, apply kinetic and energy conservation also. Now, let us take a small problem based on these steps. A 2 gram bullet is fired horizontally with a speed 300 meters per second into a 0.8 kg block of wood at rest on the table. The bullet lodges into the block. If the coefficient of friction between block and table is 0 0.03, what is the velocity of block after the bullet is lodged into the block how far will the block slide how much energy is lost with the bullet in collision how much energy is repeated in friction so the steps will be first we need to understand the problem and find out the known and unknown initial moment of the bullet is known here the first collision happens and then bullet and block system moves and friction opposes options and they come to rest now we have to choose a suitable system here bullet and block can be taken in a system. So in collision law of conservation can be applied. After the collision we can use work energy method. Since this is one dimensional collision we just need to create the motion in one direction only. So applying law of conservation moment to follow the collision part. Initial moment is mass into velocity that is 0.002 into 3 and that is 0.6 kilogram meter second. Final momentum would be total mass block and bullet into the speed of the bullet into the speed of the system so this that is 0 0.8 plus 0 0.002 into v now since law of conservation holds in that system initial moment is equal to final momentum so we get v is equal to 0.748 meter per second so this is the velocity of bullet and block system of the bullet hits the block so this covers the answer a now after the bullet hits the block the system start moving at the frictional forces opposes the motion so the frictional forces acting on the system would be mu capital m plus small m into g now from work kinetic equation we know that minus fs is equal to change in kinetic energy so that can be written as mu m plus mgs equal to 1 by 2 m plus mv square by substituting the values of coefficient of friction bullet mass and g and v we can calculate s is equal to 0 0.093 meter this is the answer v this is basically the distance moved by the block and bullet system now energy lost by the bullet in collision would be equal to initial energy of bullet minus final energy of block plus bullet system so that can be calculated as 1 by 2 into 0.002 into 300 square minus 1 by 2 into 0.02 into 0.748 square which is the final velocity of the system so that comes to 89.776 joule so the answer C is also done. Now let us look at the energy dissipated in friction. Since the velocity of the system remains very small, that is 0 0.74, the energy dissipated would be 1 by 2 into 0 0.802 into 0 0.748 square, that is 0 0.224 joule. Discover the answer D.